everyone happy friday welcome to kingdom marriage and relationship boot camp god bless you thank you for joining me once again i appreciate every single one of you who are joining us um every time i post this uh this series thank you for following them and watching them and commenting and sharing them god bless you this is our this is number seven or episode seven as i would say so if you're coming across this for the first time yes there are six other series um on how to weather the storm in your marriage um and this i believe is the uh last principle that i will share on that for now and then we can go into um discussing some other um uh, matters and questions that some of you have sent me and if you have any questions or videos that you think you would like for me to um, talk about you can leave them in the comment section down below and I would take them to the Lord and ask um, what he would like to, to, to for me to share concerning those so um, if you would like to do that do that um, down below in the comment section also want to put out a disclaimer that there are people impersonating me going through my comment sections and asking people to donate to a fake orphanage it is a scam it is not a real orphanage it, these people are doing this to many men and women of God on the YouTube platform and I believe even in other social media um, platforms so please don't fall for the scam I am telling you someone emailed me very kind a uh, person that emailed me to ask uh, because they thought it was me because what they are doing is using my name somehow figuring a way to tweak it and be able to open a fake account and using my picture my actual picture this is terrible um, and it's very sad I have reported to YouTube I have put in place some measures that hopefully will help to um, stop this from happening but if it happens again please don't fall for the scam I would never ask you in the comment section to donate to some orphanage or give Give you revelation or anything in the comment section let's go into um, camp now let's get ready and today I want to share with you this very key that would definitely I know has helped me many times and and I know will help you as well and it is gratitude make gratitude your lifestyle yes first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18 says in everything give thanks why must we give thanks is this because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you give thanks in everything that means in the good the bad the ugly situations whatever it is you're going through give thanks this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus so worshiping God even in the storm is a way that you can show God that you are not afraid and that you trust him my God that you trust him this has gotten me through uh, many rough patches and marriage um, and I, I spoke in the first video if you haven't seen that yet go and watch it you know I've um, by the grace of God been with my husband for almost 20 years and so God has been gracious and these principles that I'm teaching you have been tested and proven to work yes they work because God gave me these tools and so I'm sharing them with you also because I have been called for such a time as this to help the sons and the daughters of God who may be going through rough patches who may be trying to do this thing called marriage and maybe struggling a little bit that you you also understand what moves the heart of God so when you wash when you I'm sorry when you worship God and are thankful in your storm you confuse the devil yes it confuses the devil because he expects you to be downcasted he expects you to be you know uh, depressed and crying and sad and turning away from God but then you do like a flip on him and instead of doing all of that you are worshiping God you are showing God gratitude you are thankful to God um, the devil isn't that intelligent so yes you get to confuse him through your praise but what you do while you are confusing the devil is that you gladden the heart of the father my god you gladden the heart of god because what and 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 it is even so important because whatever moves the heart of god 
moves his hands. Oh, whatever moves the heart of God moves his hands. And so when God sees that you are, you know, focusing on praising him and not on your problem, oh my goodness, he has no choice but to show up and show off on your case. This is why I live a lifestyle of thanksgiving. I thank him even on credit. Yes, if he gives me a word, I go and I begin to thank him for that thing. Yes. So 70 to 80% of my prayer time is thanking God, thanksgiving, gratitude, worship. Why? Because I know whatever touches the heart of God, oh, it moves his hands. And because I love God the Father, I love him more than what I am going through. And only those who love God beyond what they can get from him, beyond what he can give them, will understand this concept. My God, your praise, your worship is your confession of your love to the Father. It is your confession, the confession of your love. So beyond what he's going to give you, you're just confessing and professing your love and saying, God, I trust you. Even though I have some challenges right now, I trust you. Even though there is confusion right now, even though I am concerned right now, even though my heart is broken right now, whatever it is, yet. I trust you. Job says, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Yet will I trust him. And I have said to God in many seasons of challenge, though you slay me, because I know you allowed this situation for a reason, to teach me something, to strengthen me, to empower me. Oh, if I haven't lived it, I cannot teach you. There's no way I can give you what I don't have. So if I have not lived it, I cannot teach it to anybody. So then when you're going through things, you know it's not just about you. It is for such a time as this that God will have me teach it to his people so that they too can get hope where they have felt hopeless. They can get help from above when they have felt helpless. So gratitude is a way that you show love to the Father. You cry if you have to. You roll on the floor if you have to. You praise him and, 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 and worship him and thank him past your pain. Oh, past your fears, past in spite of your pain, in spite of your fears, in spite of your insecurities, in spite of your concerns and problems, you praise him, you worship him, you show him gratitude. You let him know that I love you, regardless of what you have allowed in my life. <laughs> it's that nonetheless kind of faith. Yes, there is this storm. There, yes, there is this trouble in, in this marriage, in this relationship, in business, in, in whatever aspect of your life th that is, even with your children. But to look past that and say, nonetheless, I thank you. Nonetheless, Father, I worship you. Nonetheless, Father, I love you in spite of my mistakes, in spite of the troubles that I've created, perhaps due to ignorance, due to pride, due to lack of faith, due to prayerlessness, due to sin. Yes, yes. You praise him past all of that. This is important. This is very key to you being able to stand and withstand that storm that you will not be swept away. Being grounded in the, in the anchor that comes with gratitude to God. That you see him in the situation. That's really what you're saying when you're thanking him. I see you in the situation. I don't care what it looks like. I thank you anyway. I praise you anyway. I worship you anyway. Because I know you will do something about this. I know you will never leave nor forsake me. You bring to remembrance those things that God has done. The psalmist did this a lot. He will start out telling God his problems, but then he remembers God's track record. Oh, and he begins to praise God. And he begins to worship and he begins to bring to remembrance all of God's goodness. It moves the heart of God. Gratitude, thanksgiving, worship. 
So you too, apply it. I'm telling you, this is something that definitely confuses the devil. It confuses him. He just it has no choice but to back out and say, you know what? I can't stay here. This one loves God too much. <laughs> I tell you, it works like a charm. Oh my God, it works. And so I pray that this has blessed you and 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 just take your your attention off of the problem off of the storm and focus on the one who has control over all things including that storm he is the one that has the authority to calm the raging of the storm so love on him release your concerns to him and watch him move You've got to do it from the depth of your being. Oh, you have got to just worship him and, and be so grateful that, you, that there's no room for doubt. Mm. There will be no room for fear. There will be no room for anxiety. There will be no room for depression. Because you have released that burden to him in your place of uh, worship. And praise and you have shown God gratitude he will lift that burden off of you so what do you, what does my child need even the things that you didn't think you need he will begin to do it my God oh he would do above and beyond what you could ever think imagine pray for or or envision yes that's the type of God we serve that's the kind of God that I serve and I know that's the same God you serve otherwise you wouldn't be here so God bless you I appreciate every single one of you again if this video has blessed you make sure that you comment make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe make sure you share with other people don't just keep the blessings to yourself share okay and if you want more like this we have our family uh, destiny family prayer night on Thursdays on the prayer line we talk about many many things as led by the Spirit of God that have helped um, and continues to help uh, many people who are single uh, to prepare for marriage and those who are married um, even to be able to uh, get the, the godly principles to do this thing called marriage in a way that pleases the Father. Yes, in a way that pleases the Father. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed weekend.